Jason Gari here with Marcus Brimage, who's fighting Russell Doan July 5th in Las Vegas. Marcus, how is training camp going? Training camp is pure hell. Uh, I got to weigh all my food, like four ounces. I'm not eating. It sucks. <laughs> you have a big weight cut, so it's been tough for you this time around. Yes, that's uh, true. I'm dropping to a 135, so I can have more of a reach advantage and the height. Uh, you know, people are my height at 135, so I think it'll be a smart move for me. Speaking of a reach advantage, you have a two-inch reach advantage over Dome. Will you look to keep the fight standing up then? Uh, truth be told, wherever the fight goes, that's where it goes. I'm not planning to do anything but win the fight. How do you think you match up stylistically with him then? It'll be a great fight. Uh, Russell Dome is a uh, wine, and you know the wine guys are bangers, man. They come, they come to bang. His wrestling looks pretty good, and to be able to tap out a black belt and you, at your UFC debut is pretty amazing. Okay, now we have a few questions from Twitter because you have so many fans on Twitter. This question is from Kane Miller Films. Do you plan on going full Super Saiyan in this fight? Only if I have to. Trying to save something. Trying to save an ace up my sleeve. <laughs> this question is from Jason Hernandez. Jason wants to know, how has your training camp been going in the hyperbolic chamber? And who is your dream opponent? Phantom or any weight class? Uh, my training has been going fantastic in the hyperbolic time chamber. Uh, you're going to see a brand new Marcus Brimage, brand new skill set. Sexy, you know what I'm saying, All like always. And my <laughs> dream opponent, uh, I'm going to have to keep it old school and say like a pride Vandalay. Like, well, back in those days, those, like we're athletes, we're athletes. But back in those days, those were gods of the arena. So it had to be Vandalay or either soccer robber. <laughs> And our next question comes from Mr. Tintin from Twitter. What do you believe is the most dangerous aspect of Russell's game? Um, truth be told, he's pretty dangerous everywhere. I mean, he has a nasty overhand right. He has pretty good takedowns, and he tapped out Black Belt at his USC debut. I mean, that's that's all three. Uh, I'm in I'm in a good fight. This is going to be a great fight for me. Great combat fight. Russell Dome is a dangerous opponent that has nothing but my respect, and I just can't wait to get it on. Anything else you'd like to add? Uh, I would like to thank all my family, friends, for helping me get through a terrible year. Uh, thank God for like holding me down and keeping me sane. Uh, my strength and conditioning coach, uh, Tommy Elliott, he's been helping me get my sexy on for 135. Uh, Chris Conley, Spartan Fitness, my home team back in Alabama, American top team. And um, just everybody, thank y'all so much. And I'm a promise I'm going to come back hard as hell, USC 175. Well, you heard it here first. That's Marcus Brimage getting his sexy on. Thanks a lot, Marcus Brimage, for your time. I look forward to seeing you fight. Look at that. Look at those abs. Look at, that. at UFC mm -hmm. in July. <laughs> <laughs>